Uh, I don't even know where to start. Um, so it was it was a pretty decent movie. Uh, you, you know, I thought there would be more pirates. You know, I, I went in there with low expectations after Spider-Man 3, but... I mean, come on. See, I was under the impression there would be a lot of pirates. Like, the movie's called Pirates of the Caribbean 3. So one would assume there would be three times the amount of pirates than the first. But hey, Spider-Man 3 did exactly what I wanted. It had sweet special effects and more of Kirsten Boobitam. Speaking of which, I didn't really see the Caribbean. Is just everything considered the Caribbean or something? Are the pirates actually from the Caribbean and they moved the English trade routes? You know, I, I don't even know. Booby time! <laughs> What's with the monkey? Is, is he still cursed? Like, it doesn't make any sense. How, how, how is Barbosa a pirate lord? I thought in the first movie he committed mutiny. I, I, don't, I don't get it. See, the National Post gave this movie three out of five stars. But I don't even know what that means. Does that mean I should watch like 60% of the movie or something and then walk out? Why don't why do they say out of five? Why can't they just say, it's a pretty good movie, you should go see it. Or, uh, the movie sucked my balls, so don't see it unless you would like to experience my balls. What I'm trying to say is there really wasn't enough pirates. Um, some people think I'm kidding, but it really had a lack of pirates in it. I, I don't know, maybe it was just me, but the black lady grew 50 feet tall and exploded into crabs. I, I don't even know what that means. Do you know what that means? I don't know what that means. What did you think about the movie, Steve? Well, at least it was better than Matrix 3. Pokemon, oh, well, Steve. No apples to oranges here, man. Actually, I wanted you guys to tell me about your new series. Oh. stuff.